Hello. Hello. Yes, I think I'm audible enough to save you, right? Yes. Yes. So today we're going to tackle uh, model deployment. And in our model deployment, we're going to use the library that it's called uh, Stream Later. Uh, in this case now, we won't be we won't be using a uh, Jupyter notebook to deploy a model like we've like we've done before by through analysis and uh, model model development using the Jupyter notebook. Now, in this case, you'll be required to have a, a different folder, and uh, this different folder of yours will be in your local machine. It's either disk disk C partition C or D, depending on how you've created your folder. And uh, after that, uh, you'll you'll be required now to to create uh, files in your folder. These files will be will be the dot pi because uh, 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 because uh, they'll be they'll be in dot pi format because they'll be they'll be uh, they'll be Python files. Huh? Okay, let me share my screen first. Then I'll show you how to install the how to install the Streamlit library. Okay, installation of your stream library. So, uh, it can be done in two ways. Huh? One, if you have the pre-installed and the pre-installed Anaconda package, you could come to your Windows icon or the search. Then you type in Anaconda prompt. Alternatively, alternatively, you can you can go to your CMD. That is the command, the command prompt of your computer. So I'm going to use the the Anaconda version one. So it uh, I'll type in Anaconda prompt. I'll click on it, and I'll wait for it to open. <laughs> Now, once at this point, if you don't have the Streamlit library, you install the Streamlit library by using the pip install Streamlit, mm -hmm. and uh, this is done. This is done by using the pip install the pip uh, the pip command, uh, which is a uh, which is a uh, you could see now here from the short notes that uh, Streamlit is an open source Python library that enables us to build a web application easily. It's ideal for data scientists that may want to do this without the complexity of a framework like Django or Flask. And also a few, just a few lines of code to make this web application. For you to install your Streamlit uh, library, use the pip install Streamlit command in a terminal window. So we're going to do it here. So it is uh, pip install Streamlit. Then you enter. And wait for it for the packages to install. Mine have already installed it. I'll, I'll pre-installed it, so uh, my requirement already it's it's already satisfied here. 
so uh, in our in our project uh, i'll be using an external uh, compiler which is visual studio code and in my visual studio I, i'll be creating creating my files in the folder but uh, before that you required to come to your to your desktop and then we need then we need uh, the the credit credit card project uh, uh, when you're trying to access this folder you you access it through the terminal and when you're trying to access it we use a uh, the, the command cd now use the command cd to navigate through the path Okay, once you've uh, once you have it like mine for example you've seen that I've, I've created it on the desktop i have to come here and say cd cd desktop depending on how my desktop is it's name either capital d or or small depending you keep note of the of the cd desktop now i'll be in my desktop i'll be in my desktop of my local computer then since I've, uh, i have the i have the credit card uh, folder there and then, and then i'll come and access it using the cd command cd edit so now the system cannot find the path specified now you love challenges such like these ones so uh, mostly i prefer using uh, under the download the downloads are it's kind of uh, it's kind of friendly and to go back from from the desktop uh, path and going back to the maybe you want to access the downloads you just simply click cd and you include in the the two dots uh, then it will terminate that path and you'll go to the default one then we access cd cd download now i love to transfer my my file that are created on the desktop to to the downloads let me let me just we cut my downloads just here i will i will confirm whether that is whether whether the downloads is friendly by just typing in dir it will get that your downloads was uh, or the type of the type of path thing to use it's it's actively so once i have once i have confirmed then i will come and say cd cd credit card credit card now now the path is the path is that it, it's not giving me the error like the one that we are getting when we were trying to access it through the to the desktop same to vs code let me open my visual studio so once in the visual studio i'll come and say file uh open folder first because i'm opening a new folder then i'll click on credit card then select it now once here and you want to you want to access the command prompt from the from the visual studio uh, i'll i'll provide a material on how to install or you can reach out to my inbox on how to install visual studio so i'll come to terminal and say new terminal now we'll have a a, a terminal that will be able to provide for me a cmd type interface for me to to access my my project from this part here if already you've installed your streamlit library of course we have to launch it by launching it we're, we're supposed to be given like a local served uh, web page whereby we'll be updating and keeping on adding information or editing uh, our our visualization on how we want it to be visualized before the before the deployment once at this point the default the default command to the default command to to deploy is by just saying so run streamlit so to one streamlit once it's, it's it's installed we run we run the streamlit hello command so that it can launch for us the the 
the the web page that will be locally hosted in your computer it, it won't be online so you'll say streamlit hello wait for it to create for for your for you the link and and uh yeah and everything so you can see we are here so once at this point you could come and select you can see even there are demos here they're plotting demos they're mapping demos data frame demos you could choose and run eight of them and see how 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 streamlit visualizes how sometimes it provides for you the code uh has the fun as the features to provide for you the code that's generated the the visualization and all so for a startup i will share the the stream later uh, documentation you'll go through it uh get to get to get to interact with some of the some of the functions because uh, we want to be using the same functions uh, we've been using to visualize uh, to visualize like in streamlit you have to start with st dot maybe it's a bar plot dot bar plot then you then you then you give out uh, your your predefined data set that it will visualize for you so you keep note of that and also like you could see like here when you when you try to click on the create app you could see like uh, in streamlit also we are required to we are required to import the necessary libraries for data science that is the pandas and the numpy and in streamlit now because now you're trying to you're trying to visualize it's straightforward like we have the features like title we have the features like uh like header we have these features like caption whereby you could give a caption below uh below uh below below a uh, visualization whereby you could just a caption to sh to give more information on what you are trying to visualize like you could see here uh on the part of text data displaying information in streamlit whereby you start with the title so the title this is the first item of your text of your application application and it will be displayed at the top of the application so for for you to have a title you have to we use the st.title method to display it now this st.title of course it will be inside a, at a, a file and your file will be named as a let's say uh, let's go back to our, our Visual Studio. We'll come here. Visual Studio is easy. You go to this uh, file, new file, click there. Then you can have it as let's say app.py. It has to be .py. Note of that. So once in our app.py, we could say let's say for example we want to give a title. So so our to give a title in in Streamlit it's st dot title. Yes. Okay. So we go back to yeah. So it's st dot title. Then we could say that uh, credit card. Credit card. Then we save. Saving saving now we will saving now we will we will rerun our our streamlit so so we say streamlit run up dot i and we go back to our okay, done Go back here. We could see whether it has added for us. Uh, ST is not defined. ST is not defined because we are not imported to it. So import, import it as ST. And again, you have to it as misspelled. You will refresh. And you see, can see our title has been displayed. So we'll be using the the of course the the streamlit the streamlit uh, functions in this in this part of the project. I will share this material. You guys will get to go through it. You get to do on how to 
allow to allow to come up with a data frame because uh, because of time i won't be able to to code all through but sometimes i will be i will be having predefined codes so that you could get try to get what i was trying to do by by going through these notes so you can see even here there's a caption so you can use the st.caption over on in your code so st.caption and say just emulate and you save go back to your browser and uh we rerun our code see if the for caption you can see the caption was, was added and it was streamlit okay anyone was I too fast Savior, any add-ons for us? No, I think it is okay if you can share the, the documentation with the mm. team so that each and everyone is able to go through it. Then uh, during our next session now when we start building the, um, that's deploying the app, I think we will all be at par yeah i think we can just end there i'll share the recording as you can also share the notes i don't know is it in which format the the notes is it a link i actually okay you can share in the group yeah yeah i will share okay thank you all for plus the plus the documentation because the documentation has a deeper knowledge on on, on each of the explanation yeah sure sure thank you yeah. so uh, as i will be trying to to code in class or having predefined codes uh someone everyone should have the idea of what i was trying to do okay sure thank you yeah unless we have do we have any question <laughs> Okay, thank you all. Have a, a nice weekend.